welcome to Fumes YouTube channel. Paul Monaco here, where I talk about vape and all things vape related. It's been a little while since I've been on, as pointed out by Morgan MD 1984. Shout out to you. Thanks for uh, lighting the fire. Uh, been a hectic couple of weeks for me. I'll, uh, uh, if you really want to know the sort of details, they're on my vlog channel, PF Monaco. Uh, but in a nutshell, um, I've got a sick pet at home and uh, been having some anxiety over some uh, medical tests that I've been going through, but uh, everything is all good for the moment, and uh, no need to worry, so um, thanks for, like I said, lighting the fire, and I'm back on track. Today, I am going to talk about, not in great detail, but the Aspire Atlantis. Um, I'm not going into detail because there's a lot of reviews already out there on it. Um, however, I'm bringing you the perspective that I'm not a big tank fan. Um, I, I use a few rebuildable tanks uh, simply because I have a really long commute and uh, you know it only makes sense to use that as opposed to trying to uh, drip while I'm driving. Excuse me. Gotta have the coffee. Um, so, but anyway, I, I got this uh, tank on review. So I figure, well, I got it. I might as well uh, actually use it. And uh, I've been using it now for two weeks, and I tell you, it's turned me into one lazy bastard because this is actually a really good vape, and it's effortless, it doesn't leak, and I, I'm, I'm impressed. I am totally impressed. The only problem I had with it is, uh, you know, I normally uh, vape on my Tesla, and uh, this thing only can go down, I think, 1.3 ohms in... Uh, the, the Atlantis' is sub ohm is about 0 .5, 0 .6 when I meter it out. So I can't do it on my, uh, on my regulated mod, um, but I do have the Changeling Mechanical mod, which is a little bit of a challenge because it's a, it is a clone. It's kind of a, uh, this particular model is a pretty cheap knockoff, and uh, uh, I don't think the, um, the connectors are, are up, to, up to spec, so I have to kind of twiddle with a little to make contact on here but but what I wanted to show you is I'm going to um, replace the uh, the coil in this show you how simple it is and then and load it up and, um, and and give it a give it a toke for you now no tools simply twist like that um, if it had juice in it we would keep the tank upside down uh, and this one's basically bone dry and the coil simply unscrews from the lower half. It is a uh, ceramic element uh, element coil. Like I said, I got about three weeks out of this. Um, I, I tend to stretch them more than most people. Probably most people get about a week. Uh, replacement sub ohm coils are about three dollars, depending on where you get it from. Uh, and this one, I'm, uh, you probably can't see on there, but it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty dark and shot, and uh, uh, kind of started losing taste and getting a funky flavor, and that's what drove me to time to replace it. So, into the trash comes into these little blister packs. Kind of pop it right out. Um, now, one of the reasons I never liked these in the past, um, I'm not going the right way. Yeah, it only fits one way. One of the reasons I never liked these uh, in the past is just because I really hate to be married to a specific set of coils. Um, and when you get it back together, that just screws right back into the top. Only goes one way. Um, point out, there's a really huge gasket right here that the glass tank, uh, it's a Pyrex tank, by the way, presses again. So I think that's one of the reasons there's absolutely no leak. No matter how I keep this thing in my pocket, um, nothing comes out, and, and as you can see, that coil is nice and white as it should be. Um, gonna refill it. I have some counterfeit. Uh, it's in a cosmic fog milk and honey bottle, but actually, it's my own homebrew milk and honey. So I'm gonna fill this up. I believe it's two milliliter that it takes. I guess I could hold this up and you could watch me fill up. There's really not much to it. Uh, you're going to drip into the side and let it fill up. Um, and obviously you don't want it to uh, overflow into the se se uh, center area. Um, but yeah, right into the side. And let me just do one more 
drip full. I'm not getting full droppers full because I'm at the bottom of this uh, particular bottle, so it's getting a little bit of air. And there we go. Now we got it full. And we'll put that back together like so. Um, yeah, this is a beauty. I mean, there's no leak. This is, you can do whatever you want with this. Um, and now let's, uh, yeah, I've got a battery in here. You can hear the battery, battery rattle. Really high quality. Um, and I've got that uh, pin up really high. That's why it's not sitting flush on that. Um, but I, I'm sure, confident on a, a real higher quality mod that it would, uh, it would sit nice. Um, yeah, let me point out the uh, airflow control. Um, you just, just turn the bottom ring high, medium, low, and I thought, was there one more setting? Yeah, and so there's four airflow settings. Um, I started out on a low airflow just because I, I wasn't accustomed to the uh, sub-ohm vapage, and, uh, but uh, now I'm on full airflow and, uh, and I really like it. Excuse me, I'm looking at the wrong place. I keep switching cameras and I forget where the lens is, so uh, let me see if I got a contact on this. There we go. Yeah, there's definitely massive amounts of uh, of a vape on this, and uh, oof, <laughs> almost caught me off guard. It's been so long since I used a a clean um, a clean coil on this. I forgot how how good that can be. Yeah, definitely some serious clouds out of that. Um, I didn't do the math, but uh, uh, 0.5 ohms, a 4.1 volt battery. I don't know. Don't got a calculator handy, but you can do the math on that. Uh, what was that like? 25 watts, give or take. I I don't know. Don't don't flame me if I'm wrong. But anyway, um, yeah, Aspire, Atlantis, Sub Ohm. Um, the uh, atomizer runs about 40 bucks. Uh, replacement sub ohm coils around three, and replacement glass tank, which one is included in the box, uh, is about five dollars. Um, there are knockoffs on this if you really want to go that route, but uh, I don't know. This is a, a, a good deal. I don't I don't see why I'd go with anything else. So hopefully it won't be long this long till my next uh, next review. Actually, I know it won't be this long for my next review. So until then, be good.